as the rotisserie turns, Dre's Place Barbecue, these are the sands and days of our lives. Dre's Place Barbecue in Spartanburg, South Carolina this week at the Piedmont Interstate Fair. Dre's Place Barbecue in Spartanburg, South Carolina this week. Big time fantastic fair. A lot of people are going to be there. It's on Fairground Road in Spartanburg, South Carolina. It's going to load down here in just a minute. Good morning, America. Welcome to Dre's Place Barbecue as the petition returns. We are in Spartanburg, South Carolina, trying to do it again. Just getting these four foot seasoned up, ready to go. Trying to do our thing. The ladies is in the kitchen working diligently. We're trying to get open. Uh, the window has opened, so we're working. We done got a head start here this morning. We're just gonna turn them over. Get a little bit of love on this side. Daryl, can you believe it? We made the newspaper the front page hey. again. Dre's place must really be doing something right to make the front page one more time. And the Herald Journal's owned by the New York Times. Owned by the New York Times, really? Yep. They got it up there, too. Wow. So the New York Times got Dre's Place Barbecue on the front page, too. <laughs> <laughs> Darryl, we're putting together a great team today. We got a great team. We've been missing America because we ain't shot no TV in a while, but we've been missing y'all, America, so we're glad that we're back. We're going to get this episode banging and slanging. No. First thing I'm going to get is these, these, these uh, ribs peeled and done and ready. Wow, this nice show won't cut nothing. That one right there. Another one's sharp. Yeah. Oh, you can leave that right out. No, you got another one. I got another one that's not broke. That's yeah, not but broke. that's only four slabs of ribs. Okay. I don't need that four slabs of ribs. Craig is going next door. One of my door. very dear friends. Check out some Frank. She came to my party for Pat. We love her to death. She, her and her husband is a great team together. Just tell us your name and tell us a little bit about what you're doing, how long you've been doing it. I'm Teresa Culver, and I've been doing it all my life. I was born and raised down here. My father did it, and I do it. And my kids, and now my grandkids. <laughs> so, four generations out here. Now, what do you do in this particular trailer? We do corn dogs, chicken on the stick, um, Philly steaks, Italian sausage, and everything is hand-cooked, hand-made. Nothing comes out of a box or nothing's frozen. It's all fresh made every day. One thing I know America in that trailer next door, pointed that way, and that trailer right there got some of the best pizza you ever want to eat in the whole country. And, the and I've been a handmade. lot of places. The dough is handmade by mixer every day, all day long. By it's this beautiful frozen. young lady. It ain't frozen. It's the real deal. That's why we love her so much. She yeah. reminds me of Dre. Thank you because for spending we a little do it, time. Because we do it fresh and it's good. That's the Thank important you. thing. Customers are happy. Very happy. That's what you want to make them happy, right? Sure. That's the most important thing. Absolutely. That's what I say all the time. You gotta be courteous, you gotta give them a good product, and then they're all happy about it. We love you. Thank, thank you. you so much for spending a few moments with us. Well, thank you. It's uh, absolutely great. And I look forward to seeing you soon after this one is over. Oh, I'll see you again. That always, <laughs> we run into each other all the time. America, just remember, take a look. When you see this at the fair, you stop by and say hello. You make sure you stop by and say hello. Thanks, America. We'll be back in a minute. Peace. America, this has been a journey. We've only got so much left to do before the 21st of November comes, and I'll be in big trouble with this hip. So, America, I need you guys to keep your prayers up that I can go on and get this thing over and done and get right back out here and get to work. Because if I don't work, guess what? I got no money. So I've got to get back to work as soon as I possibly can. So we're going to need all your prayers, America. Each and everybody out there, we need to say a prayer for Drake. So I can get back on my feet as expeditiously as possible.
It's Andre and Pat and getting ready to make some stuffed chicken breast stuffed with collard greens cheese sausage and a whole lot of flavors it's gonna be good okay so what I have to do first of all is take this sausage and I've got to take it out of the package and we will be using a Brockworth sausage that we'll be making this from We'll set this frying pan right here with a little bit of oil. Get a little bit of this hot oil here out of the deep fryer. Start cooking the Italian sausage. Turn this burner on so it's a little low. Chicken out and take a look. First, we'll get the sausage on. I hope when you look at this week's cooking show, along with Dre's Place as the rotisserie turns, we'll be teaching as well as. Uh, Cooking some great, awesome barbecue today. Denzel has shown up in the house. So we always excited when Daryl comes around and I get opportunity to be on the cooking show as well as uh, the rotisserie turns at Dre's Place Barbecue. So we haven't had a lot of excitement at the rotisserie turns in the last two weeks. We had some excitement. We had a couple fights the week before last. Uh, not us fighting, but the people out in front of the trailer fighting. So it was actually throwing down. Throwing down fighting. Over turkey legs. Over turkey legs. Over a turkey leg. Over a Over turkey leg. Turkey Hello, how you doing? What you need, babe? Was they fighting over the price? <laughs> nah, they weren't fighting over the price. They couldn't get enough. Yeah, we do. We squeeze the price for a pie more. What size you need, sir? 32. All right. So we'll now take this to the pan. Eight, please. And get this sauteed. Anything else, sir? You want a bowl or a cup? Got to chop this up and get it sauteed. Grease is hot. You can hear it sizzling. Turn it up a little more. All the time while we got that macaroni and cheese cooking over here. So you actually get to see two for one today. We'll let it cook down before I start trying to break it up. Now this 
This is a rockwort sausage, which is a little different flavoring in it. Okay, now, I think I'll put a piercing here in the top part of this chicken. Cut that pocket out right there. So we're gonna fill this pocket up with the cheese and the collard greens. And uh yeah, look a little culinary in there. Yeah, well I do have a culinary degree, so I got a little more extra skills than what most people have cooking barbecue. everything together because I didn't get no butcher string. Nice big press. Holy cow. Daryl is getting ready to get on the bull. Let's check him out. We need to get the sausage good and brown. Well, I'm going to get some of my pre-op stuff done for three days. It's an experience America ain't never took before, but I'm going to take a chance. And I think she'll dance good. So I'm putting confidence in her and America. We've got our chicken breast cut open, so now Dre's going to start doing some seasoning. We'll get a little bit of my special blend flavoring. When we start talking about seasoning, all of a sudden you can't see Dre's hands. Do you notice that? He's actually putting gold medal season salt on there right now. Let's take a minute oh, out to clown magic around just a little bit. Together, and we're going to do a magic trick, okay? But you need to hold my hand because I don't want to lose you, okay, Bryson? Come out with me, Bubba. Now, Bryson, we're going to go. Bryson. Bryson. I lost Bryson. Bryson! I can't believe I lost Bryson. Oh, no. Bryson, where'd you go? Oh, there he is. He's right there. Sorry, I thought I lost. Here's a chicken of dynamite color. Here you go, baby. Now, that's great. Thank you, baby. 
You know Dre's place has to take a break for politics. You say I be politic and I'm like Obama. I should be getting him, I'm gonna get him. Watch how Dre drains this sausage, keeps all the oil on one side, and has clean, dry sausage at the top of the pan. Got time for just a little more politicking. All right, let me check it, America. Let's get, he trying to build this business to give his son so he can retire off that school teacher's job and help him make a little more money so he can have a good retirement. So I can get, so I can get. So he got, yeah, so he got a good retirement. See? I'm trying to go to three dollars an hour. I got to make a little. <laughs> Dre is getting ready to stuff this chicken. Unbelievable. Stay tuned. Our first one. Oh, 
This is really going to be delicious. Yeah, it's looking good. It's crazy in here. Is it looking good, Daryl? Denzel, I need you to open this thing for me. I need you to open it. Open it for me. Open that salt and pepper. Well, in about 40 minutes, we'll know just how it's going to be. They haven't been open them by now. Hey, that's going to show y'all stronger than me. This one, the way it's represented, it won't have to have a way the brush was split. It won't have to have. Yeah. My sister would have been 60 years old. Her, her, her birthday would have been today. Now, my mother had kids. I was my sister going on the fourth. I was born on the 7th and I had to like I clock time that time. just right. Yeah. Amy, I played dice before you ever come to the world. I was playing dice when I was playing. I would ask you that before. When I was playing with Timmy, I was playing dice. I was playing with How you doing, sir? Hey, this is 7-Eleven. 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 What you know about that? You know my life. Oh. Here, throw these in the uh, trash can. Okay. Go ahead and look. Go ahead. If you, you know what you want, sir, I can wait on you to use this book. Voila. Voila. Oh, my God. Look at that. That's beautiful, lady. Beautiful. Anything else? That's right, lady. Damn. Seven dollars. Let's see if this one's going to need it. So, America, this is Dre's twist version. Sir, whatever you ready, I'm ready. All my own original recipe. Collard greens, Rockworth sausage, and cheese stuffed into Dre's Place Barbecue World Championship Texas-style chicken. Champion. Mm -hmm. Champion. Mm -hmm. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this. Okay. I think I want to put a few, uh, give me a couple more toothpicks. A couple more toothpicks there. Hey, hand me a couple more toothpicks, please. I just need a couple. See, Denzel, if you'd have got me that string, Which one on your I'd have been tying this together. But now you take your shoe string. Get the shoe strings off the shoe. Uh, Can I 
you surprise down somebody for me for a birthday class, please? Yes, sir. I need an IC, Denzel. 16 ounce, sir, 31. 16 ounce. Okay. There he goes, America. He's getting back up on that bull. Oh, no. I got a bad hip already. Is he up on that bull? Cowboys over there. They want to ride this bull. Come on, you get two tries for five bucks, two tries for five dollars. Ride that bull, Dale. Ride that bull. Good job, good job, man. So, America? Get ready to fix you up. We're gonna find a spot on this grill. And we're gonna cook, put that chicken on there to cook about 40 minutes. Then we're gonna hit it with just a touch of barbecue sauce on top. And I promise you, it will be one of the best meals you could ever want to eat, America. We're excited about it. I'm excited about this BBQ Superstars cooking show today. Well, I think I hit him a home run on the recipe. So here goes the punch out. I need a sweet tea. What's that? Uh, Denzel. Guys, how you like the way that looks? Sweet tea, 1632. Wow. Both? Let me see who over here on this side. I can show him something beautiful. That's beautiful. You like that, man? Young lady, you want to see something beautiful? Young lady, you want to see something beautiful? Come here, let me show you something beautiful. You ain't gonna believe this. Look, this is a barbecue stuffed chicken with uh, rockworth sausage and collard greens with cheese over the top. We'll let you sample it when it gets done. We're gonna put this pan right here on the heat. Let me get my aluminum foil and cover it over. So we're gonna cover it over back and let it cook. You know how you think you're gonna get over there? Let's move it back. Let me get some tongs so I can move it back just a little bit. Y'all say Trey's place. Here we go. One, two, three. three. Trey's place. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. The best smoked meat in town. <laughs> now, Bryson, what I need you to do is go up the stairs right here and go stand right there on that blue spot. Okay, Bubba? Very good. Bryson, wave to everybody. Everybody say hi. Awesome, Bryson. Now, Bryson, I've got a question. Bryson, have you ever done magic before? You have? I've never done magic. This is going to be cool, dude. All right. Bryson, right here inside the box, I've got the most awesome magic trick ever. And Bryson, what it is, it's a magic trick that involves food. Do you like food? I love food. And Bryson, it's my favorite food. In fact, it's peanut butter and jelly. Do you like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? I thought so. Do you guys like peanut butter and jelly too? Good. Now, here's what we're going to do. Bryson, I'm going to take and cover up the peanut butter like this. I'm going to take and cover up the jelly like that. Now, Bryson, on the count of three, 
the peanut butter and jelly are going to switch places. Do you want to see that? Okay, are you guys ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Bryson, they switch places. Now, Bryson, here's the really cool part. They switch back. See, the peanut butter's back over there, and the jelly's over there. Ta-da! That was awesome! Bryson, that's not how we do that? No. Okay. Bryson, we'll do it the real way. I'll cover that up over there, that over here. I got an idea, Bryson. On the count of three, all our friends out here are going to say the magic words, abracadabra. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. That was awesome. Hey, Bryson, let's see if they switched. Whoa! Give me five, Bryson. And Bryson, what's on this side? The jelly. That's right, Bryson. That's pretty good, Bubba. So now, what's the matter? What? No! Oh, hello! Hey, Bryson, what'd you do with the jelly? Did you eat the jelly? No. Who ate the jelly? Did you eat the jelly? Oh, my goodness. Bryson, I knew they would eat the jelly. Sorry, Bryson. Here's what we'll do. We'll cover that one up like that. On the count of three, you boys and girls say the match words, abracadabra again. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Okay, Bryson. Now, if we've got the jelly back, we can do the magic trick, okay? So, no, oh, good. The jelly's back. Now the peanut butter's back over there. We got, what happened? What? No! Hello! Hey, which way you kids ate the peanut butter this time? Oh, the big kid over there in the peak. I understand. All right. Bryson, we'll, we can fix this this time, but we've got to use the magic wand. Okay, Bubba? Now, Bryson, turn around. Give her a big, 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 wait, wait, no. Turn around this way. There you go. Give her a big smile. And Bryson, hold out this hand just like this. Okay, good. Hold on to that. Now, Bryson, what you're going to do is you're going to wait the magic wand. One, two, three, put out. <laughs> That's a little too much, dude. You're going to wait for that quad. One, two, three. Ow! Bryson, that was twice, dude. Now, Bryson. Wait a minute, Bryson. Keep the match quad down there. Now, Bryson. No, Bryson, down there, dude. Bryson. Ow! <laughs> Never mind. Just stay there, Bubba. Now, Bryson, on the count of three, we're going to get the boys and girls to say the match words. We love the fair. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Very good. Now, Bryson, do what I do. Lift up your foot, go like this, go poof. And point that match one right there and say, pow. Can I see them? Thank you. Ow. Sorry, Bryson. Now, Bryson, if I have peanut butter on this side and jelly on this side, all these people out here are going to go crazy for you. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Give her a big round of applause because he did awesome. Dre's Place Barbecue in Spartanburg, South Carolina at the Piedmont Interstate Fair. We'll be back. We've got some more episodes. We've got a lot more coming from the Spartanburg Interstate Fair in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Dre's Place Barbecue.